Tilapia, a star in the global aquaculture industry, is quietly revolutionizing the food market. Rated among the top fish species for its soft white meat and sweet fragrance, tilapia is raised in controlled ponds worldwide. This has allowed it to grow and thrive at rates far beyond its natural growth. Did you know that in 2023, the global tilapia market reached over $10 billion, with North America and Europe contributing $3.5 billion? China alone holds 68% of the global market. One of the reasons tilapia is so widely farmed is its rapid reproduction rate. Female tilapia can lay thousands of eggs at once, and the male fertilizes them externally. A key technology is the Recirculating Aquaculture System, or RAS. This method recycles up to 85% of water and enables farming at high density. How do you think this impacts the environment? To protect her eggs, the mother tilapia holds them in her mouth, where they stay safe and warm until they are ready to hatch. Visual, close-up of a mother tilapia holding eggs in her mouth. At around one month old, the young fish adapt to their surroundings and are transferred from the incubation tank to the main farming pond. Before transferring, they're placed in aerated bags to ensure they won't experience shock from changes in temperature or oxygen levels. Thanks to molecular biotechnology, scientists have developed supergrowth tilapia that grows nearly twice as fast as conventional breeds. This helps farmers boost production and meet high market demand. In traditional and modern farms alike, maintaining water quality is key. Small farmers rely on experience, while large farms use automated monitoring systems. Which do you think is more effective? Tilapia are fed pellet feeds specifically designed to support their rapid growth and nutritional needs. Farmers adjust feeding frequencies, usually two to three times a day, depending on their growth stage and environmental conditions. After about six to eight months, tilapia reach market size and it's time for the harvest. The harvested tilapia are transferred into tanker trucks and transported to the processing factory. Visual, workers loading tilapia into large water-filled tanker trucks. Harvesting is done carefully to preserve quality. In large farms, modern tools aid the process, while small farms rely on manual methods. What do you think is more sustainable? At the factory, the fish are first sorted based on size and quality to ensure only the best fish continue on the production line. Visual. Workers sorting fish on an automated conveyor belt, discarding any that don't meet standards.
Next, the tilapia are skinned and filleted with great precision to maintain consistent quality and thickness. Visual workers using specialized machines to remove the skin and fillet the fish. Processed tilapia fillets are then carefully weighed, packaged, and labeled for distribution to global markets. After harvesting, tilapia is processed and packaged, often using blockchain to ensure traceability from farm to table, giving consumers confidence in the quality. With diverse cooking methods, tilapia suits many tastes. From spicy Asian dishes to mild Western styles, tilapia's versatility brings it to homes and restaurants alike. What's your favorite way to enjoy fish? China's technological advances in tilapia farming have transformed the industry, securing its place as the world's top tilapia producer. Could this be the future of sustainable aquaculture? Tilapia's soft, boneless meat and versatile flavor make it a popular choice for meals worldwide, from simple dishes to gourmet recipes. Thank you for joining our journey to explore tilapia farming. Please share your thoughts if you've tried this fish. See you in our next video.